Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create payments in the item list to subtract the amount of a customer payment from the total amount shown in an invoice when creating an invoice. You need a payment item when you receive a partial payment you need to apply to an invoice at or before the time you create the invoice. Note that this is not what is used when receiving full payment at the time of sale. In that case, you simply fill out a sales receipt. When creating payment items, you have to create one for each unique payment type you accept, for example, cash, check, visa, and so on. When this item is used, it actually receives funds from the customer. Therefore, when creating this item type, you also have to select whether the amount received when this item is used in an invoice should be directly deposited to a specific account or placed into the undeposited funds account for deposit at a later time. To add a new payment item to the item list, click the item button in the lower left corner of the item list window and then select the new command from the pop-up menu that appears. In the new item window, select payment from the type dropdown. Click into the item name slash number text box and enter a name for the payment item. Then enter the description you want to appear within invoices when this item is used into the description field. Use the Payment Method drop-down to select the method of payment associated with this particular payment item. Then decide where to place the money received when this item is used in an invoice by either selecting the Group with Other Undeposited Funds option button or by selecting the Deposit To option button and then choosing the account to directly deposit the amount into from the adjacent drop-down menu. After creating the payment item, Click the OK button to save the item into the item list. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.